Why this home wasn't better protected is kind of beyond me. I mean, in light of the status of uh, he's married to, what, the second person in line for the presidency? Seems like Pelosi needs to reevaluate, um, and especially uh, her uh, uh, security, especially in a violent city of San Francisco. I've spent a lot of time up in San Francisco, and it is violent. It is imperative also that we don't make this a partisan issue. This happens to members of Congress, of all parties, Supreme Court, justices, and even um, people in my family. I mean, living in the celebrity world. I mean, I've received hundreds of death threats, publicly, privately, every day, all the time. And especially, actually, after I joined Fox News, it only got worse. I mean, this is, uh, you kind of take it with the territory. Uh, of being an outspoken public figure. It is disgusting and it's wrong. Soft on crime liberals, uh, politicians running to actually defund the police, release violent criminals and enforce and not enforce our laws when it comes to the criminal justice system is uh, they're also making law enforcement the enemy of the people. And, and this has to stop. We have a election coming up in a few days. We have to get these people out of office because the crime wave across America affects everyone. It affects the rich, the poor, the powerful, whatever. Everyday Americans are facing this and we see it in all these different cities. Uh, this crime wave has uh, been happening for a long time. And uh, voters, honestly, they need to do the right thing when it comes up just a few in just a few days. Another major takeaway is Biden. Truly, he has done nothing to tone down the rhetoric and unite this nation. Violence of our, in our nation is everywhere and it's at record levels. This is truly, he's become kind of the divider in chief. Now, I'm sorry I made you sit through that, uh, but I had to call out these morons on Fox News who are basically slut shaming Nancy Pelosi and Paul Pelosi after a Trump cult member broke into their home and tried to assassinate Nancy Pelosi. She wasn't home, so he ended up attacking Paul Pelosi until police got there. And actually, when police got there, he attacked Paul Pelosi, violently hit him on the head with a hammer. Paul Pelosi is OK. He's recovering from a fractured skull. He had surgery. Uh, and the man, DePepe, is in prison uh, right now. He's being held by police. And this comes after years and years of violent rhetoric from conservative media, Donald Trump, and of course, Fox News. So, of course, Fox News is doing everything they can to deflect the blame. And so, of course, they bring on the person that we all want to hear from, and that's Caitlyn Jenner, the failed California politician who wants to talk about how she knows the state, and especially she knows that San Francisco is a violent place. Let's ignore the fact that there was a kidnapping plot in Michigan because of Donald Trump's rhetoric, because of Fox News, because of conservative media continually lying and hyping up fear in their audience and constituents about the big, bad, evil Democrats who want to come for their God, guns, and gasoline. Marjorie Taylor Greene in recent speeches at Donald Trump's rallies have said that Democrats have already begun killing Republicans. It's that bad. So, of course, Fox News says, oh, no, <laughs> man, it's it's because Pelosi's didn't have the security. Caitlyn Jenner, you have daughters. That's like saying, oh, well, you got raped because you shouldn't have worn that high skirt. You shouldn't have gone to that party. You should have known better. Caitlyn Jenner, I don't know how you live with yourself, how you can in the same sentence, in the same breath, say we shouldn't make this a partisan issue and then turn around and blame the liberals for releasing violent criminals and for making the police the enemy. How you can watch what happened 
with Donald Trump inciting the mob on 1-6, attacking Capitol Hill police officers, trying to stop our democracy, how you can pretend that you stand for police and how you have the audacity to pretend like you want to uphold democracy. And then, of course, you blame Joe Biden for not toning down the divisions in this country. The ones that Donald Trump stuck a crowbar in and wedged as hard as he could to divide us. Right, Caitlyn Jenner. The brain worms that you have to have to watch Fox News, believe everything they say, and then to be hired to go on to Fox News and repeat those talking points. It's outrageous.